はい早っ<笑>いやいや早,早いっていうだけでねそのでも先生も早いタイプでいらっしゃいますし僕もそこそこ早いって言われてますけど、うん、もうかなわない素早さは本当にすごいねこの重さえ入れちゃって回しちゃえば、うん最悪何が起こってもまあ本に載ってもいいかなっていう私の考え方ですね,そうだよね,そうだよね私この子供がいてずっと連載やってきたから、うん、もう熱出したとかやれなんかこう学校に呼び出されたとか言って締め切りの日っていうのがあったんでやっぱり落ちないのがやっぱ一番、うんはいそううん、僕もまあずっと落ちないようにしてきたんで、うん、そ,その考え方だね、うん、それがあの連載何本っていうの支えるね,そうですねあ Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of the Procrastinators Podcast. I'm so happy to be back. I'm the best guy ever. Yes, last week was a mistake. I'll never leave you again, I swear upon my Lord Jesus Christ.、Uh, with us today is、uh, Monkey Jones.、Ah! Yeah, he's having a tough time right now.、Uh, ben Saint is here. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Hypocrite is also joining us. Yeah. Uh, I, I fuck your say- enthusiasm. <laughs> fuck you. Fuck the PCP. Fuck my ass and suck my hey man, dick. The PCP is what、I'll、you got left. It's all、things. I have left is the PCP. You let's, fuckers let's have more、this. subs than me now, god damn it. It's, it's true. Let's address this right away. Guys, there's been a terrible event, in case you haven't heard.、Mm-hmm. Monkey's channel was, in fact, deleted,、oh. was, was destroyed from YouTube. His main channel. Uh, due to, to infringement of, what was it, terms of service or something? No, was, wasn't,、uh, it, wasn't it violent content? No, it was. I made fun of、uh, Muslims one time too many and they couldn't handle it.、Oh. Right. I mean, that certainly seems to be the case. His, his Sharia law video, in fact, d- like you were making jokes about how many subs you will lose. You did, in fact, lose all of them, <laughs>、uh, as it turns out, which is a certain kind of hilarity.、Yeah. Uh, but it's, it's quite sad. So, so, first of all, Monkey's migrating his work over to his Monkey Jones 2 channel, which is now just called Monkey Jones, as I understand it, right? Yeah, link in the description, of course. We need to update all our links on like the PCB to your、no, shit, too. I don't care. I really don't okay, care. Okay, all right.、Um, Who gives a shit? <laughs> fair enough. Uh, but uh, I, I mean,、uh, I don't know what's appropriate. I guess sub to his new channel. If you, if you like Monkey shit, even if you don't like it, support the man because it's not right what's been done to him. No.、Uh, subscribe to his new channel or his, you know, his, his most. His, his current channel, his real channel, Monkey Jones, and、uh, give to his Patreon just to say fuck you, YouTube.、Uh, we support people who do things you don't like just across the board. A- anything you oppose, we're for. Fuck send, these people, they're garbage. Send, send, YouTube, send YouTube your emails and fucking tweet at YouTube and, and just fucking spam YouTube. Like, Is there a link we can use we can tell them to send shit to? There's like,、yeah. a, bunch, there's like a bunch of ways to contact YouTube, and I don't know which one's the right one. Incidentally, this will be a week ago by the time this actually goes out. Yeah, I might、but. actually have my channel back by this time. It's funny. The, the Wouldn't that be de- great? The death episode premieres tomorrow, and the whole time I brag about how many subs I have, so it's、oh. going to be really funny. Oh, no. It's going to be really funny、oh, no. for people who hate me. <laughs> that, that's true. That will be an interesting yeah, arc. Yeah, I can't wait. I'm going to、um, avoid that comment section like the plague. Well, I would well, say, well, though, if, people. If, well, if、yeah. your channel's not back by the time this goes up, and、uh, yeah. people want I'll to. I'll probably com- be dead. And, mm, and, all right,、mm-hmm. and, people, and people want to complain about it. Where, sh- where, the, where should we send? Where should we, how should we protest to YouTube about、um, it? I think I can find the link where they can fill out a form and I'll probably put it can in, we the put in the description. Can we put the link in the description? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. And by the way, I, I'd like to just, just, just people, I think it will be most constructive to not just send them, you know, like uh, uh, Islamic State videos with like, you know,、uh, YouTube logo shooped over the journalist who's getting his head beheaded. You know, just like <laughs> those sorts of things will not be constructive. Don't, don't take be the crazy. Trump approach. Don't, don't, yeah, that, now that's evil.、Uh, don't, 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 don't go crazy and like tell them, send them death threats or、uh, what you've done is evil. You want to just be, you want to help. This is, this is real shit, people. Let's not fuck around. This is real shit. So be polite、yeah. and say, you, what, you have made a mistake. Please correct this, Monkey Jones.、Yeah. Uh, this clearly was not hate speech of any kind. It was simply criticism,、right. you know, in a satirical fashion. So go take that tack, guys, if you want to really help. And, and I, I certainly do. So. There you go. There you go. Do what you can, people. I guess, okay, so moving on. Our topic for today is being prolific. Whoa. Being prolific.、Mm-hmm. Yeah,、mm-hmm. something, so something I, that me and Nate、mm-hmm. have been doing, and, Mon- and Monkey, really. Been, been Monkey's doing... always been quite prolific. I did it,、yeah. I did it once. I did it once upon <laughs> a time. Once in a, in a, 
T-Bap every, every was prolific. Moon. T-Bap was prolific. T- oh, yeah. T- I forgot about T-Bap. Yeah, T-Bap was pretty prolific before, back in the day. Before doing Mia Mafava, I always used to, like, reminisce about, like, how productive I was during the T-Bap days and how much I loved it. But now I've had a, I've, I've upgraded my uh, my most recent productivity memory. These, these days... These days I reminisce about how productive I was when I was drawing <laughs> Brunswick. That was uh, yes. that was that was my like golden age and I I'm I'm haven't I haven't been able to recapture it in a while. You know, I'm sure this will come up a lot, but and not certainly not to criticize because I, I love the work that you do. But uh, get yeah, the I, and f- I think, don't <laughs> fucking <laughs> patronize yeah, me. You would, you, would, you would you would say the same thing yourself, and and you did when when talking about Brunswick on you know because like when you started Brunswick, it had like a rougher art style. Yeah. But like you said, you were able to get it out really fucking fast. Yeah. And then as you got further, you kind of like. Uh, you know, you sort of develop more of like a connection with, or you want it to be really great because you put so much time and work into it, and like you start taking longer on pages. Yeah, and it, the, the they long... get better, but yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like I, st- I started out with it, like I'm just gonna fucking blast it out and not care that much about how it looks. But like mm-hmm. the the further I got into it and the more important it felt, like the less I was able to do that. So like, yeah, I did. Like early on, I was like, I'm gonna draw like one, maybe two pages a day, and I did. Mm-hmm. But then towards the end, it was more like maybe I'll get a page done every other day. And I mean, Uh-oh. from the yeah, from the beginning, <laughs> like the pages were smaller, so there was like less to do on them. So like, mm-hmm. it was I don't know, like like everything about that, like the way I approached Brunswick, just like led to like it getting done really fast, and it was really good. You know, and um. I- I, I, I think I need a... to fucking, I think I need to fucking, like, maybe once Champion's done, I need to fucking take a minute and, like, look at my life and look at myself and, like, maybe go back and... and take a look at yourself, then yeah. make a change. And just, like, yeah. try and, like, try and, like, see what I can take from that and, like, put that in my fucking workflow, you know? Like, try and, well, try and, try and replicate well, I was, those I, circumstances. I just had, like, an idea mm-hmm, mm-hmm. while you were talking then, just then, because, like, I feel like you just need a project that you feel like you want to make more than you want to hone. Like you, like, like. What, what, I disagree. No, no, no. What I mean is, like, spending <laughs> mm-hmm. too much time on on each like drawing, um, makes it take so long, and then it you feel bad. But if you had like a project, uh, that was sort of like you didn't care too much, but it was sort of fun to do, uh, that you know that that could be like a good way to just get some get yourself in on that like choo choo train of just making things. And I, you I, know, I oh, you idea. mean like, you mean like, take a break from like the other stuff and like do something that's less. Like, no, 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 quote no, unquote no. important. Well, well, I was, I was gonna kind say of. like doing a HD re-release of Sonichu, like just drawing the whole thing yourself. <laughs> God, uh, people have done that actually, but but I see what you're saying. <laughs> that would take so fucking long, dude. <laughs> well, I, I would actually say I, I think a, a, a strategy. I mean, here I go showing my own shit, but like doing a like maybe I'll actually draw a page a day, like a challenge like that that forces you. I, I into thought the about play it. Position. I thought yeah, about yeah. it. I can't do it with champion. I if well, I start not, not champion, sure. If not I champion, if I started a else. new thing, I could maybe stick to a page a day for like a month. Like I'd think about it. it like think like like it. I could have I could have done that with Brunswick. I could maybe have done that with mm-hmm. Brunswick. Mm-hmm. So yeah, I would really possibility. like it if you did a comic version of some of your recent okay. Nuzlocke adventures. If there are any like characters that stick out in your mind. Oh, what about what about Banana's final day? Or oh, yeah. you know like Something that like one. That. You know, um. People Wait, you, sorry. Your, uh... You you said like like comic adaptations of like pieces of the Nuzlocke's? Yeah, yeah sure. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's a really a good that's idea. a really good idea. <laughs> I, I I really please do Banana's Final Day, please. If you end up doing it, that's my but favorite Banana's thing. Banana's Final Day, happened. Banana's Final Day, or Banana's Big Day Out, or whatever Big I call out, it, yeah. is uh, is my favorite moment from both <laughs> series. I'm here, amazing. everybody. Oh, I'm oh shit! I'm late, hey. but I did. did I we want... just start. We've no, we've been going for ten minutes or so, but only because we already had been waiting for people such as you to show up. If in the you're first okay, place. if I'm too late, I'll just go. If you don't want me here, but no. I'm here now. No, it's it's fine. <laughs> right? What do you think, guys? Let's do a quick vote. Who votes Jesse can stay? Yay, stay! I, I, I vote yay. I vote yay. Yay. All right. Sorry, no. I just got home. I was at the happiest place in the world, the Gibraltar Trade Center. It's a big, grimy, <laughs> dirty flea market, full of full of cool stuff. We okay. It's just funny because we literally had this conversation, and we're like, if they're joined, they can't. But I want you here. I want Jesse here. What can I'm weak. I'm a weak man. I can't hold to my own rules. Uh, Monkey, do you do you have any strong feelings about this? Uh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. that's that's because let's the, give the, him ten percent less pay so I can get my money's worth. The rules. Uh, yeah, okay, you're the rules docked. document. The rules document says you can join late, and it's fine. 
Like that's <laughs> like that's what that. the explicitly written that. rules say. Okay, I think that like mm-hmm. thirty minutes late should be the cutoff. This is twenty five minutes. Twenty five <laughs> minutes. <laughs> that's pretty damn it. fucking close. Yeah, you're under the wire. Uh, that's, you're that's under the sad. wire that you put there yourself, slightly above <laughs> Just yourself. Now. <laughs> okay, let, we'll, we'll work on this later. I, I don't care if you're here. Uh, we'll, if, we'll, we'll figure it out. Um, by the way, before we get too crazy, let me actually read, just for fun, the Urban Dictionary definition of prolific, uh, just because uh, yeah, I think you'll find it interesting. Okay, so here's, here's the top definition, prolific. Massively mediocre, utterly unexceptional, absolutely average. Person one, what? did you go to that alternative rap show on the weekend? Person two, yeah, it was prolific, eh? This is the worst. De- this literally that doesn't is inc- sound right at all. That's, incorrect. that's just wrong. Yeah. Well, yeah. Li- listen, listen to the next one. This this is the second one. Prolific. A dumb man's profound actually means fertile or producing. I mean that. I guess that second part's okay, true. Okay, so they're they're saying they're saying that it's people like a, confuse the words and people. I guess so. Yeah. I guess so. And like the first one is just that confusion or something. I've never been confused on this word. Does anyone actually think this means mediocre well, or something? Okay, whatever. I gotta say that I'm actually pro choice. Mm. Wow. Nice. Thanks, <laughs> um, Just like my girl Hillary, my it hero. It could be a um, statement that people who put out a lot of stuff uh, evidently have a lower quality since they like I th- yeah. doing too much work. I think but that's I what they're trying to get at. I think that's what they're trying to get at with this. Like, if you're prolific, then you obviously aren't working that hard. Wait, what, what was the second one? A, po- a dumb man's profuse? A dumb man's profound. Profound. A dumb man's profound actually means fertile or producing. These are terrible. Does that mean the person whatever. using prolific in that way is a dumb man, or? Well, or, yeah. If you uh, use a word well, wrong, yeah, you're yeah. dumb. I would agree <laughs> that we're all dumb. That's true. <laughs> yeah, but not not dumb enough that we would ever incorrectly, you know, misspeak or anything, no, never. <laughs> or, or, or 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 use one word when we meant another. That should be our slogan: not dumb enough. <laughs> <laughs> Um, all right, well, let's, uh, I don't know, where should we take this? Do we want to just talk about, uh... The trials and tribulations of being prolific on the interweb. Now, Monkey is, I think, consistently the most prolific man here when he's not doing a a big, a big gay event. When his channel's not fucking deleted. Well, that too, that too. (laughs) (laughs) So, so, Monkey, why don't you tell us about your approach to your content? Where, where, where prolificity pertains to it i guess yeah. that's the word so i have a dry erase board up on my wall above my desk and it has hmm. my daily schedule and th- well i don't really follow oh, i love it already i love I it i got cucked but it's pretty much <laughs> like this sunday through wednesday i would do uh work on main channel videos i treat it like an uh, an actual job eight hours a day mm-hmm. every day mm-hmm. so f- that's how right. i crank out all this shit then the pm record the uh the isma podcast am of thursday Edit the podcast. You just have to schedule this shit out. And I treat it love like a you, real Monkey. Job. This is perfect. This is perfect. Go. I've got a massive erection right now. Please continue. Uh, <laughs> Fridays are dedicated to recording Let's Plays. And then Saturday in the AM, you edit those motherfuckers. And then uh, Saturday in the PM, you record the PCP. And there you go. Yeah. That's my week. That's what my week I... used to be before I decided I'm going to kill myself. And does that have Sundays off? Is that the, uh, the thing? No, no. Sundays, Sundays I work on main with... channel videos. I don't get a day off. Because my job Good. is making fucking YouTube videos. Exactly. So I don't need days off are for weak faggots. Yeah, uh, every day I, is a day I love off. it. No, uh, uh, days off are literally a fake meme, a fake news created by unions to trick us into thinking that we're less cool than we actually are as human yeah. beings. Weekends are for, if you've got a shit job, Man. then I'm sure you're totally into a weekend. Weekends are for people with bad jobs. That's what they anyone are. Anyone who pretends, any, anyone who, you know, looks down their noses and says that, like, entertainment or the arts is not mm-hmm. a real job... Fuck that. If that person has a, quote, real job where they get a fucking weekend and days mm-hmm. off and get to go home at 5 p.m., fuck them. They're the lazy ones. They're scum. Mm-hmm. They're nothing to me. I work fucking 25 hours a day, 366 days a year. <laughs> Never had an off day since before I was born. Fuck you. Die. Yeah, and the the way that I've been uh, getting those is actually every PCP is recorded. We actually talk at ten times speed, and then we except slow for down today when I was fucking ten minutes late for the podcast because I was at a flea market. Yeah. That's the happiest the, place. The, in the only world. day off I've ever had in my life, and oh. I still made it to work on time. Yeah, of course. Well, what was that place called again? Well, uh, uh, it's roughly on time. Whatever. Uh, yeah, that, that's great. Jesse, what was that place called again? I just it sounded magical. Gibraltar oh, man. World Fair or something. The Gibraltar. Trade Center. Amazing. I went today. It, it's like my favorite place in the world. It's like an hour away. It's, the, it's this gigantic, like like an airplane hangar, 
fucking grimy ghetto flea market full of like you know just like vendors full of stuff yeah. and, I, and and there's a, there's this huge sign I'll, I'll 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 post a picture of me by the sign it's the sign <laughs> right. of this of this dandy gentleman in like a bowler derby <laughs> and a brown pinstripe suit with a cane and he's like welcome to the gibraltar trade center i'm gibraltar and welcome to my stuff you can buy my stuff he's my best yeah. friend he's my hero he's my father i took a picture standing next to him we're best friends now forever and the reason i went is because uh after this summer, after 37 years, the Gibraltar Trade Center is closing its doors oh, fuck. once oh, no. and for all. And the it's the saddest globalist. thing ever. So, Yeah, so I called up my secretary. <laughs> I said, we have to go to Gibraltar every day this summer before it closes. Ben, remember that trade center that we went to where I think we, A, we sold our original NES with all our games like no, fucking no, no. idiots. That's not, that's, you're misremembering because we sold Am our I? original NES at a GameStop and I know right. because they ripped us off for an original copy of Kid Icarus, which they gave us a measly, miserly, uh, parsimonious $8 for. Fucking cucks. And the probably, one cent for, like, all our games. Probably could have like, got, like, so 30 or 50 for it. Why yeah. the fuck did we sell that? Okay, but forget uh, but that. But I do remember, I, I, I do I remember a flea market. I do remember the Gibraltar I do, Trade Center yeah. sounds so funny to me. And it's because the World Trade Center. That's the funniest yeah. thing. <laughs> I was thinking it. I was you thinking know, it. I never realized. Thank God they got the World Trade Gibraltar. Center and not the Gibraltar one. Yeah, true. Nate, true. but I do remember a the, flea market. The Jabroni a, Trade Center? There was a, there was a <laughs> flea market go. where we bought Earthworm Metal Gym 2. Metal Gear Solid 2. 1 and Metal Gear Solid 1. Remember Earthworm, that? No, but I remember Earthworm Gym 2. I remember we bought Metal Gear Solid 1 at a trade center because you were like, my friend Stefan really likes this game. We should buy this game. That sounds, remember that sounds like something I'd say. If yeah, I can add to what great. Jess was saying about an hour ago before Nate and Ben interrupted with this stupid bullshit. <laughs> uh-huh. uh, the point about the wage cucks, like... You know, they go to work mm -hmm. at 9, mm -hmm. they go home at 5. Uh, yeah. yeah. Like, you get to stop working at that point. But when you're doing creative stuff, all day you're tormented by thoughts of, okay, what should I be working on next? What's the next idea? What's the next video going to be? And I, I can't turn that part off. It's not like an, a 9-to-5 job where it's like, okay, yeah. I'm at this yeah. place, and now I'm back at this place. I'm at home yeah. all day, and I can't stop thinking about things I should be working on. It doesn't You know, it yeah, doesn't it's true. Off. Like, I can, I mm -hmm. can think, like, like, oh, I just can't do it today. I can't do anything. I just, like... I'll lay on the couch and, like, try to relax and play video games. But, like, even when I'm relaxing, I'm not relaxing in my you head. Know, you, I'm you still working is? in my brain. You, you know what that is? That's the comfort of low personal expectations. Like, oh, yeah, it's not like if I work harder, I'm going to, like, make any money today. Like, why would I Why would I go in and, like, put in an extra hour to, like, get this project done? I'll just do it on fucking Monday. And, Who gives and, a and shit? It does, Whereas it does all of us, things. if we do more shit, if we work harder, we get more back. But, of yeah. course, it's up to us to define our own destiny out here doing our own shit, which is why um, it's so much better. And especially, like, our particular branch of entertainment mm -hmm. like I, i'm sure monkey probably has this problem as well where like i feel like i can't play a video game because i should be recording it somehow and yes yeah I, yeah i, I that's hate tough. video games now i yeah, yeah like video games were like my they've always been like my most beloved hobby but now they're it, also just this my is, work this is why yeah. everybody should stream all the time because streaming is 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 basically you know, being able to play a video game and relaxing and chilling out with people um, and you're not you, you mm -hmm. don't feel like you're performing you feel like you're hanging out and also you don't have to edit anything it's it's so much That's better true. than making let's plays i made let's plays for you know a couple of years nobody ever watched them nobody ever watches the live streams but at least now i can see hey there man are a few 23 people... viewers reliably turn into miney crafty every friday <laughs> yeah, and she is time... like the the queen of the chat she's always watching your shit while she's at work she <laughs> yeah. loves it so, but it's like even if it's only twenty people on a, on a YouTube view count, twenty people is like there's nothing. But in a stream, mm -hmm. it's like yeah, I have twenty whole people here, and they're yeah, yeah, that's, true. that's a party. That's, true. that's a party. It's yeah. not. It's not just video games. Like I feel that way about everything. Like like even like watching a movie or something. It's like yeah, I could, I'm spending this time watching a movie, but like man, I could be making something. I could have made this movie. I could have made this movie, but better. <laughs> you know. You know. Yeah. That's that's interesting. I always used to look down, and I still do, on people who kind of like in a just just like people who aren't creators but like have a, a social media presence like they just have a facebook page or whatever and then they like feel the need to like document the cool shit they do but like i do a different version of that now where i like post to twitter the things that i'm doing that seem interesting or relevant in addition to just my thoughts and shit just because like, like when i was at anime expo i just felt a desire to post all this shit because it's like relevant to my youtube presence you know because like i'm an anime talkie boy so i'm at anime expo here's a bunch of shit i'm gonna do and um you know, it's a little different from, like, the reason people do it, but I feel like it's part of, like, my branding, so I, I can feel like I'm accomplishing something by doing that, you know? Like, I'm, I'm helping my, my business by doing that shit. 
It's cool. It's cool. My Twitter doesn't it, help it, my business, but I do enjoy it. I don't know. For for a while there, a for a while there, I was really on Twitter a lot, and I kind of, I don't know, it was I'm kind a of a way fiend. for me to like get out of doing real work, like take a break from drawing, but still like tell myself that I was doing something productive because I was like mm, uh, mm. expanding my social media out out reach or something. But yeah, yeah. It, I think it's it's not real. It's it, like what I don't know. Like it's, it's the, not, there, yeah. There's such a thing as too much. <laughs> And you there's know, not, there's not a real return on investment on Twitter. There, there really. is a bit. Yeah, like, yeah. I think it's good. To, bit, it's good and, and beneficial to maintain some kind of like you know fan like direct line of communication there and like talk to people mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. get messages and respond and you know just like sh- show everyone you're still here and you're still doing stuff. But like, yeah, th- not much. Like a, li- a, a little, a make. little bit goes a long way. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I feel like in the last year or so, I've become like really good at Twitter. To the point where, like, like I've got more followers on Twitter than people with more YouTube subscribers than me. Yeah. And, like, it feels good. You get that rush. You get all the, the favorites and the retweets and stuff. Yeah. But, like, I would almost prefer to not be as good at Twitter so I wouldn't tweet as much. Because, <laughs> like, like I, I have a vision for myself. Like, I long to be one of those mysterious creators yeah, who doesn't have yeah. a social media presence. And, like, oh, people only know him from his work. And that's it. Like, I show up out of nowhere after, like, months or years with a video, and people are like, wow, he's back. What a legend. He's back. I, I want to be that guy, and I can't because I'm I'm too damn good at Twitter. I I feel that. I feel that. Some, sometimes it feels sometimes it feels a little cheap for me to be, like, going on Twitter and, like, just talking to people. And it's like, I should be speaking through my work instead. Like, why do, why, yeah. like, why do I have to do... Why am I doing this? But then it's like... And, like, sometimes, yeah. like, I'll fool myself. Like, I'll lie to myself. Like, I'll I'll go on this massive tweet storm, or I'll make a big chain of tweets, making some, like, grand point, or, like, mm-hmm. f- fucking philosophical uh, theory. And, and, and I'll look at it, and, like, hmm, maybe I'll just take these tweets and, and format them in the form of a video. So I'll have content. I'm never gonna fucking do that. I don't know why I <laughs> yeah, lie to myself. Yeah. Once it's on Twitter, it's gone. It, it doesn't matter. It's lost to the void. It's kind of given you like, yeah, since it's sort of published in a way, it's like, yeah, you get the gonna... endorphin rush of having said right, it, but without right. having said it well in the format people actually care about. Mm. Yep, and the way I that'll seen, actually make you money. I have seen you take tweets and, and turn them into videos before, or at least put them into videos. Yeah, I definitely try to remember the choicest of uh, of quips to mm-hmm. to br- to bring back in a video form if I can. Well, let's, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, I, I think, did we get off our, our original topic here a little bit? I mean, this is all relevant. This is all relevant, but uh, let's let's focus in a little bit. We, uh, we, so I was asking Mumkey about how he, he deals with his uh, his productivity, and he, that that's perfect, Mumkey. Your, your scheduling system is exactly what I should be doing. Uh, I, I, like, with me and Maf, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a bad guy at managing my time, so either, like, I've decided, like, I'll, I'll do a thing where I'll be like, I've devoted, like, like Saturdays and Sundays are like this. I just sort of think in my head during the week, like, okay, Saturday and Sunday are just pure get YouTube stuff done. Just work on that stuff. But the problem comes in that I don't organize that time, like, specifically enough. So I'll do things like wake up in the morning, like today, and, like, be like, ah, oh, you know, okay, I'm, I'll, I'll just spend, like, an hour, you know, just, like, goofing around doing stuff. And, like, I've got all day. I've got all day to get to it. So what, what am I going to do? Waste the whole day? I don't think so. Meanwhile, so many Saturdays, the days that I have, like, the most amount of time to work on shit, end up just getting consumed by me thinking, like, oh, I'll do it in a bit. Oh, I'll do it in a bit. Oh, I'll do it in a little bit. Because I have not structured my time perfectly you know, enough. It's, which it's is why guys like, like you, Monkey, are heroes. Crasting. Hey! That's me, you baby. Know, it's, it's funny, <laughs> Nate, that, that you still go through that because i'm because mm-hmm. you did me a math of a, you had to do it every day and i'm doing like mm-hmm. the my thing the igmavo tuidich thing and mm-hmm. every time i wake up i'm not even considering uh not doing anything you know i've been working like from 8 a.m to however mm-hmm. long it takes usually usually i finish the the, the video for the day by six and then i try mm-hmm. to start the bad. next one immediately and um, but like the idea that after Mia Mafafa, you could wake up and and then not want to, not f- continue that. That's mm-hmm. 
That's uh, see. I I, 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 I agree, whether... hippo. I agree, hippo. Nate is a fucking hack. And a, <laughs> no, and, it's, and it's, a... it, it, it like it all makes sense just in the context of the way that my brain works. Because like I'm doing this thing where I like do like during me and Mafava, I was able to like kind of be intellectually lazy and just say, Nate, your whole life is now making videos. You are doing nothing else. And because of that, I didn't have to actually put in the hard work of something that will like pay off long term of being able to structure my time intelligently and care. And like that's because I was able to just kind of relax into I've given up everything except making videos like that's actually kind of the easier way to do things than like managing your life properly. That's and what so it was like, like. That's what it was like yeah. drawing Brunswick. I would like wake up mm-hmm. and be like, there's no question of me doing anything other than just sitting down and starting to draw. Right. Yeah, the, and it the, worked. I've never I'm a man been, of extremes. I've, I've need, never been mm-hmm. good either at, at the, the scheduling thing. The only schedule I have is uh, every every uh, tw- twice a week I stream. And mm-hmm. around that, I, I just, I have, I've mentioned this before, I have like a pad of paper of like goals that I need to, to get done. At the moment, mm-hmm. I have just like the, the list of video ideas I have. And at once I've done one for the day, I just tick it off. But um, the idea of saying, okay, for the for the beginning of this day, the like AM of this day, I'm going to work on this. I It just doesn't feel right. I've, I've, mm. I've, I've made calendars like that before where I would say, all right, for this hour, I'm gonna do on, work on this, but I never know. Like I, I sometimes can start at the right time, but I didn't mm-hmm. never end at the right time. So the entire schedule is is fucked for the rest of it. So I'm like, ah, well, yeah, yeah. I've I've gone like over by three hours. I don't know what to do now. Should I stick I've to never, the next thing? I've never been able to stick to a schedule. But what what what's worked for me is like just getting the day started on the right foot. Like if I get the day started and I'm starting to work, yeah, like, then yeah. that's going to be a productive day. But if I wake up and I'm like, I'm going to do something else for a while and then I'll start working. Like I might as well just give up, you know? Yeah, man. That's, that's like cancer. my, my Achilles heel as a, as an, as a creator and as a human being hmm. is that I have like a hard time focus. And like you said, Ben, it's almost like an involuntary procrastination where like, like when I get up, I cannot think clearly at all until I've, like, eaten and been outside and walked around a little bit. So it's like, I'll, I'll sit down to work. It's like, okay, well, first I'm hungry, so I go to eat. Then mm-hmm. it's like, well, mm-hmm. I need some fresh air. So then I walk around. The food was then a I trap, finally dude. get back. Food's a trap. Yeah. Then I finally get back and start to sit down. It's like, well, now I have to go pee. So then I have to go pee. Then I go pee, go back down, sit down. Like, well, now I'm hungry again. So I go and I fucking, I eat again. And now I have to go outside again. And now I fucking <laughs> remembered that, like, I, I thought of a tit. So now I'm horny. So now I got to go <laughs> sail around the world and find, like, a seaside brothel. Yeah. And then I fucking come back, like, a month later and finally sit down. And it's like, well, now I'm hungry again. You know, it's, it's, it's never ending. <laughs> That's why. Next thing you know, it's like two in the morning. You ain't done shit. Yeah, that's pretty much a similar problem to me. The only thing I find that helps is breaking my tasks down into tiny little bits. I like I, you should see me at work. I've got all these post-it notes that have all like my tasks broken down into like tiny little chunks. Like it's better at work because like there are people there who will fire me and hold my feet to the fire if I fuck up real bad. So I have no choice but to schedule my shit, and that's great. Having deadlines makes me a thousand times better at getting the shit done. Um, even if I like. I'm a, in a big shitty procrastinator and wait until like the last possible minute to get it done, which I've always done. And I really want to fix about myself. Uh, but, but like, uh, like I really, I take every task I have. I, I have all these lists. I make it work. And I really try to break it down into the smallest possible components and then just, just itemize like, okay, I'm doing this now. Then I'm going to do this. Then I do that. And I'm not great at it, obviously, but I find that even if I'm like Gib and I like fail to uh, to like stick to the plan, having these to keep me sort of on, in, sailing in the right direction of what I need to get done eventually, and, like the little steps to do, and really knowing like exactly what motions I need to specifically do in order to get it accomplished is a big help to me. It helps me long term get things done, even if I you know don't stick to the plan perfectly. Yeah, um, <sighs> oh, I forgot. I, I was gonna say something, then yeah, mm-hmm. I, I blanked out. Something about <laughs> Igmavo Tujis, something about videos, something about making videos, it's something about being productive or prolific, How, in fact. I've, you, you have been able to get, like, it sounds like, at least one video done, if not more, uh, during uh, your time. Yeah, if, if it's mm-hmm. a vlog, I can get two videos done per day. If, like, one of them's mm-hmm. a vlog and the other one's, like, an edited video. I, I never managed that with, with uh, Mia Mafava, not even one time. Well, I mean, I have a huge advantage because I have all day. Oh, that's true. That is true. So it's, it's But not even like, on weekends, I never did it, you know? Oh no, no! I've been working all the fucking week, all, all, mm-hmm. every single waking moment. It's it's uh, it, I, yeah. This is what I was gonna say. The um, 
because like all these problems of like you wake up and you're not sure you want to really start doing this. I was like, oh, you know, I, I didn't finish that podcast. I'll just put that on and listen to the last bit of that as I wake up and, you know, mm-hmm. have a bite to eat. And before you know it, you're clicking on the next podcast and you're like, uh, oh, yep, wait, yep. oh, no, I'm, I'm going to kill myself. But <laughs> this month, like even even just before the month, I was trying to make a few videos like as a buffer to get me started. Mm. And they were taking more than one day each to make. And I was like, oh, no, this is going to suck. And as soon as July started, I was like, I have to do it now. And the yeah. deadline, the, 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 the pressure, it wasn't really stressing me out. It was just like, well, I have to do it. I'm going to do it. And I, I love did it. pressure. I love pressure. It makes me a real human being. It forces me to accomplish yeah. things. God, Everybody... I wish people put things on me and force me to do things. It's so hard to I'm... self-motivate. What I'm gonna do, what I'm gonna try and do, it's not gonna, it's not gonna happen. But what I'm gonna mm-hmm. try and do is I'm gonna make one of one of the years. It doesn't matter when the year starts, but I'm gonna make 365 videos in a row. What I'm the just, fuck? I'm gonna, I'm That's just gonna impressive. see what happens. Because if Casey you know, Neistat did it, Casey Neistat can do. I mean, he does the same sort of videos. Yeah, but what like does he do? I thought he just like talked about what he did all day. Like Hippo makes actual yeah, yeah. analysis and shit. That takes work. That's true. It does. True. It's I'm I I I I'm uh, a lot of the the videos I've been making. I'm like, D- does that make any sense? I don't have time to check. I just I just <laughs> yeah. write it. And, uh, on the other and hand, Casey it. Neistat has one gorillion subs, so you know it's uh it's it's it's, like it's, it's working. Like my AdSense has been going up quite a bit just because of the the, yeah. the daily amount of videos. I'm I'm happy about mm-hmm. this. I, I like it's this. Great. I like daily videos. Daily videos are great. I might I might do it forever. <laughs> I hope you do. Being prolific yeah. is is a, is is um is addictive. It's it's it, cool yeah. to feel like I, you're I really already, on top of things. I already miss Mia Mathva intensely, and uh, you know I want to go back. I I have to go back. Hashtag Max Revive it, it, Mia Mathva. It really Mathva. is like like giving yourself a deadline makes you more powerful because yeah, like absolutely. Like if I have um, like say I want to make oh I don't know a Fourth of July video, mm-hmm. like. I'll tell myself, okay, it has to be out on the 4th of July. So I'll work at it really hard, and I'll get it almost done. Almost done. But if the as soon as the clock strikes 12 on July 5th, it's like, well, now I'll never fucking finish it, because yeah. I don't care anymore. Even fuck if it. it's 99% done, it's like, yeah. Ooh, fuck it, I'm done with this shit. Yeah, yeah fuck but, it, you'll, you'll, get a, you'll get a 4th of July video on fucking August 22nd. I don't, <laughs> I don't even give a this, shit. This is, not, this is not quite the same thing, but something something that I really regret, and I think has really hurt me, was when I decided to release like half of Champion because like the mm-hmm. previous comics mm-hmm. I released only like I released them entirely when they were done and it was like a big surprise and it was like oh man this is what I've been working all this time here's the whole thing mm-hmm. Re- like releasing half of it really was like really really killed my motivation a lot and because it's like it's in a way it feels like okay people have already seen it and it's no longer it's no longer a surprise like if i had had yeah, yeah. if i had kept it to myself and just like sat on it and been like it's out when it's done i would have felt like so pressured all the time to be like well no one's seen it like as of right now i, I i've got like no one's seen my work i need to finish it so people can see it and mm-hmm. it would have been like been like i got to finish it no matter what now it's like well, people have seen most of it or a lot of it, or you know, like it can get the rest done, and and it doesn't. I, I I took the pressure off myself, and I feel like I really paid for it. I hate when the pressure goes off. Yeah, I'm just repeating myself here, but yeah, um, that's I, I hear you. I, I hear you. One thing that's really confusing me is that deadlines and pressure used to completely destroy me when I was younger, and I don't know mm-hmm. when the change happened. Because, like, in school... Well, now you're like, doing something that you want to do. You know, that's I, a big change. I guess change. that might be it. But, like, I used to do... I was... I did, like, art at school. And I liked art. And it was mm-hmm. like, yeah, was making cool big things and stuff. But it was like every deadline of a thing I had to do was like, Oh, no, I only have seven days left. Oh, no, I only have six days left. Why haven't you done anything? Oh, no, I only have five days left. Oh, no, I only have four days left. Why you just... Why you just just complaining about the number of days you don't have. Oh no, it's done. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't do anything. Ah, oh, that was de- de- depressing the whole time. I don't know what I am doing with my life. And it, that was just me the whole time, forever through school. Dude, and I now, and I, now deadlines yeah. are like good. Like I, I thought they were bad, but they're good. And I don't know when that changed and how. You know, I know comparing that to like schoolwork, like uh, deadlines were great for me because I never, I mean, sort of, because I, I was that kid who never did. I, I always got pretty decent grades, I guess. I mean, whatever, who gives a fuck? But like, uh, I would get the project done like the night before. I would stay up the night 
before it was due and finish it then. This happened to me like every single fucking time, including on my class that I finished like this January. Like as a 26 year old man, uh, I was still doing, I have not fixed this about myself and may never actually do so. But like finding myself doing doing this shit, like I, it, it's astounding to me, like how much I am willing to just like drill myself into the fucking ground and like plan things out, and plan things out ahead of time, and work for months to finish a project that I'm just kind of interested in or very interested in, you know, whatever. As opposed to like at work where I just like, ah, uh, whatever, who gives a fuck? Schoolwork, oh, I don't care. God, I don't want to do this shit. Just like having the motivating factor of doing something for myself, it's like, it's like I don't know. It's kind of like kind of like that shit Davu talks about, where like. Uh, uh, like if, if I, I guess like a sort of a political thing where like if if, uh, if someone's telling you to do something if like just for example if the government is like telling you like okay we're structuring people to like be these people to like fit into these boxes that's what you're going to be your whole life like as opposed to letting basically the free market like dictate what people are going to be and let them like find something they're good at and like find a way to make it work like not only will those people be happier at least in my own experience I'm like at least 10 times more productive because I'm doing something that makes me happy and I'm able to get more out of it and I like I personally have way more to contribute to the world doing this kind of shit as opposed to you know being a fucking uh, uh, you know wage cuck automaton just just doing the shit that I'm told to do it's it's night and fucking day yeah so uh, you know. yeah but like but like the free market has its own downfall because like it because, mm -hmm. like, look at YouTube, right? Like, look, like YouTube is a free market. YouTube is a what might loosely be described as a meritocracy where, like, people get rewarded for... Unless you're get... going to prove a Sharia law, then it's, uh, <laughs> it's no good. <laughs> well, well, on YouTube, you get rewarded for doing what, it, you know, what there's demand what for. What YouTube wants. And, right, that's why, right. and that's why YouTube has become so homogenized because everyone is, everyone is incentivized to do the same thing. And that's what the free market mm -hmm. does. And, I mean, it's nice to say that, like, yeah, oh, but if, yeah. if it's not rigidly dictated, if, 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 it's, if, it's, if it's up to the individual to decide, then, yeah, you can do what you want to do. But, like... Not everyone, not mm -hmm. everyone can be a you know a, an esteemed anime YouTuber. Uh, name. You're absolutely right about you're absolutely right about that. Uh, I guess just just in this case, I'm more focusing just on this one this one thing that I notice is better about it. There are absolutely problems with I mean specifically YouTube or any kind of system that tr is trying to like or, or just ends up maybe intentional or not like steering people into like certain compartmentalized ways of doing things. Like that's what Mia Mafa was all about. I would love to just spend all my time making gigantic like cinematic anime reviews uh the way that i've been doing that's what i really want to do but i realize that i can't do that if i want to survive i have to adapt to the world i'm in which forces me to do me a mafava and you know what it, it won't always work out this way but i found out that people are actually pretty 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 positive about hearing me just talk about shit and doing that kind of like light editing stuff and that like it's it's brought out that something i see myself as being better at doing you know and uh it's helping me kind of find these other ways so of course it's not always going to work out that way there's going to be problems but um you know, if it, you can be forced to experiment to, like, see how you fit somewhere, that can be helpful. And if you just don't succeed at it, then, like, yeah, it's going to suck. But, like, you know, you should find some other way. If, if, like, the thing that the market's forcing you to do just isn't working out, then, yeah, you got to find something else, which can be a loss for sure. But uh, I just think that process is more interesting and, and productive and, like, uh, uh, yeah, like, really productive. Like, you'll get more out of the people doing it if you let them uh, explore that shit for themselves instead of, like, boxing them into shit yeah, yeah. <laughs> something like that <laughs> something like that i don't particularly response. like it when <laughs> when there's a person and he makes something really great and he gets a load of fans and then he mm -hmm. consistently doesn't make something as great forever and his fans continue to be there because of that first thing I don't particularly like it, but I understand why it has to be that that way because. Oh no! Are you calling you, me Ego Raptor? Oh no! I'm no. calling I'm calling everybody <laughs> the same guy who does yeah, this. Yeah, yeah. Because it's well, it's unfortunate when you just see somebody who used to be good and now they're just doing something that is kind of homogenized and kind of boring and kind of whatever. But that's how they got to keep stay afloat. And I, I don't liked like Hypocrite it. before Imgavoa Tua did. She got so mainstream. I man. look at my thumbnails and I'm like. Eh. I don't even know who I am. What is this guy? Nate, are you saying that you're never going to make another video in the same 
you know, epic vein as the tank and top. Well, I know, I know Nate not, is no, going to not. do that. I'm, I'm currently working on it. It's just that I'm, I'm, I'm restructuring the way that I, I do things so that I can survive while doing this and right. overall make more throughout my life. I'm just probably going to break up my content between like doing those long term and then like take a day and make like a, a smaller video or something. Yeah, that's, I think that's, that's a good thing plan. to diversify instead of just like abandoning or only exclusively doing one type of video. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, just trying to yeah, compensate I, I, for like, I my Nate, own weaknesses. I, I, mm -hmm. I, I trust Nate to be able to, to continue making big videos while mm -hmm. still doing the small stuff. But I'm... I, I don't know. I don't know. I just... Maybe I feel like I haven't made a big, big I mean, video yet. I'm, I'm I kind of feel like the era mm. of the big video is over on In YouTube. Way, yeah. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I even, even me as a viewer, like, I... You know, more than anyone, I appreciate the mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. merit of the big gigantic videos but man e even as a viewer myself it's like i'd rather watch the 5 minute video here's, i don't have yeah. time for that shit here's here's a weird dilemma that i that i find myself having like what i like i it, it, like it's easy for me like i look at i look at the landscape of youtube i look at how you know it's it's all like vlogs and it's all like let's plays and it's all mm -hmm. like casual like low low produced stuff and i'm like man look at all like look at all the shit content like what i like what i think of as like real content as like worthwhile content is like scripted like mm -hmm. narr like narratively driven like like stories like fi like stories right, and right. fiction it's like that's what i think is good and like that's what i try to make as an artist myself but as a viewer as a viewer i'm i don't like i'm kind of pushed away from that like i don't like i don't like i don't want that for myself because it's like but i don't know if that's because of like my mm. like my like i don't know if that's because of like the youtube landscape and like because of like culture like i don't know if that's me as a viewer or me as an artist cuz like as an artist i'm like i don't care about what stories other people are telling i'm trying to tell mine over here yeah. so like yeah. i wonder I, like I hope that it's just me being like biased by my by my profession, you know. Like what I like I hope, or I would like to think that like people that like a lay person, like the masses, like respond to that <laughs> stuff well. But I don't know if it's true or not because technically I'm part of the masses, and I find myself being like, well, whatever. Someone else will watch it if it's good. Someone else will watch it and enjoy it and like it, my, and it'll get my... popular. But but leave that I don't. But I want mm. no part of it. Literally, my favorite show on YouTube right now is Mumkey's Yu-Gi-Oh! Let's Play. That oh, is, without shit. a doubt, my favorite thing happening on YouTube right now. I don't even know how to play Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> but it's my, I, it's my favorite thing, and I can't explain it. Uh, it's It comes out, like, every other day or something like that. Uh, I yeah. fucking love it. He's just plowing through all the fucking... I, like, we're past where I even know who these characters are anymore. <laughs> I don't know who any... I, for some reason, something about it is just great. And it's so easy for me to watch, like, every morning as I'm coming into work, and... Um, you know, it's it's really great, but but yeah, let's let's talk about like the downsides of uh, of being prolific or prolificity or whatever. Uh, well, yeah, well, you guys, um, mm -hmm. I mean, you were talking about wanting to do more stuff like short videos, like Mia Mafava and yeah, Gibbs yeah. thing, and like getting them out more, more being more prolific. Mm -hmm. I almost feel the opposite way, where like I I kind of strive to be less prolific, like <laughs> mm -hmm. I. Would I like my goal is to is for my Patreon to get high enough that I can disappear and make one huge great thing project a month. Mm -hmm. That'd be as cool. As opposed to like just just a never ending stream of trash like I've been doing for all these years. <laughs> I'm at a point thanks to YouTube fucking me that I'm kind of in that position where I'm like, okay, maybe you know since I'm not gonna get uh, 10 million views anymore, maybe I'll just do two really big great videos and and throw them up on the Patreon and see what happens. That's something to try at least. God, your your video had just gotten like it was close to like a million views. Yeah, I was right up to a million, and they're like, you know what? Oh, a million. Fuck this guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Had it crossed over nine hundred thousand yet? Yeah. I know it was close. Yeah, it had. Well, was that uh, the, the um the uh the diary little, of a wimpy little, kid? Little, the diary. Yeah. Fuck, that's that's a lot of views. And yeah, that, we'll yeah, see that... if I get it back. And and if YouTube doesn't want to give me my thousand dollars in ad revenue, I'm gonna fucking burn YouTube headquarters to the ground. <laughs> yeah, they certainly deserve it. Uh, they're just they're just the worst. They're just the worst. Um, and so oh, are they just going to keep my money? What's the idea here, Oh, 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 they're going to keep your money. They're going to keep your crazy. money. That's just, crazy. Just like how right now we're having a little bit of, uh, I mean, I don't know, this is kind of insider. Maybe I shouldn't even talk about it. But like, Nate, we're, we're, I, I, we're, are you talking about those emails? I saw those emails today. 
Yeah, yeah, I'm talking. It, it, like, it's not a big deal, but like, we're trying to basically get access to the to the ad revenue that the PCP has already earned, and like, they're they're throwing up some real roadblocks here for us getting that money. They might just decide, you know what? I think we're just gonna keep it. You know, yeah, that's uh, oh that's cool, you guys, but. Man. They're gonna they're gonna take that money. They're gonna build a paper mache cock out of it and fuck us with it. That's right. That's right. Well, and we'll we're see. and maybe we're supposed to, and we're supposed to just thank them. Thank them for giving us this platform. Yeah. 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 Great. Thanks, guys. Appreciate that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, okay, but, okay. But before we we go, because we're getting pretty close to the hour, let's let's talk about specifically more downsides of of prolificity. Because I, I did want to talk depression. about. Severe depression. <laughs> like, uh, no. during Mia Mafava, it's easy for me to, to be, like, really excited now that it's done. But, like, it was hell. I gave up yeah. sleep. I gave up sleep for, for much of that time and just worked uh, I feel, since I had so I little feel, time. Well, I feel like mm-hmm. it's way more depressing when you don't have any videos in mind and you're just sitting there existing. Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's true. Yeah, like, not, like, I'd not rather being... be stressed out and, and being like, oh, man, I really need some sleep. I'd rather be like that than oh man I really need to die like you know, <laughs> I was the first one's better I was I was just about to say not being prolific is what is what makes me feel more depressed and then I realized something I realized something about the way that I am as a human being mm. not not being like I think that not being productive causes depression and then I think that right, right. rather than rather than Product productivity making me depressed because it fucks up my schedule. I think that being depressed causes me to change my schedule to become productive, to like to mollify, to mollify the depression. Because I'll go if I go a while and I'm not being productive and I start to hate myself, then I'll like I'll have to like like with Brunswick, like I was like and I was like the world is fucked, my life is fucked. I'd like there's nothing for me. There's nothing <laughs> there's nothing for me in, in this world. It's time to just it's time to never leave my room and never do anything again and spend like all day every day just like drawing mm-hmm. and that was like and that was like the fucking that like really helped and cured my problem for a while. I guess I that's true. I guess the only danger is falling into that kind of depression spiral where you don't make the change and start to make shit. It's like yeah. a, you know, it's a, a, yeah. it's a gambit. I mean, I, I mean, I think the healthy. I mean, I think the healthy thing that 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 nugget of of of, of chutzpah from inside yourself and actually get shit done, as opposed to uh, you know just killing yourself. I was gonna say, I, I think you know, just I was gonna say, I think the you healthy about the healthy thing is to make that change. My depression is like the opposite of that, where I really love myself and my fear, and like I just don't want anyone else to not like me. So mm-hmm. my fear is that like. If I take too long with a video or like too many days go by without a video for me that people assume I'm not working or not doing anything. Yeah. Like sure, sure. M- like I my my, my biggest problem that like hampers my uh productivity is just like not being able to focus on one thing at a time. Like right now, I'm looking at 11 Sony Vegas windows in my browser. Oh my god. All of different projects and like Everything takes forever for me to get out because I can't focus on finishing one project at a time. I like I'll do like five minutes of work on on this window and then like get bored and zoom over to the other window. So like I'm just inching towards finishing all these different projects instead of getting one thing done. And like my my, my worst fear is that people think that I'm just lazy or not working. I am working. I'm working hard all the time. There's 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 just no there's no results ever, and I don't, don't know why. Not not to be critical, but it sounds like the issue there is that little thing that get bored, that get bored, that allows you to you know just or that forces you. Uh, I don't to, know. To I don't know if bored I don't know if is the right word. It, it, uh-huh. It's more uh-huh. like run dry. Like, like, like I I can't finish one thing before I start feeling guilty about not having finished the other thing. Mm-hmm. So I'm mm-hmm. constantly like like uh, balancing my guilt for different projects and <laughs> going from one to the other. That that you know that that thing that Monkey said a, just a couple minutes ago, you know about the whiteboard with the schedule, you know yeah, that's yeah. inspiring to me. That's really probably what I need in my life more than anything. Yeah. I think I'm literally going to order a whiteboard as soon as we're done with this call. I I want that. I want that in my life. It it reminds me reminds me of those like you ever seen for like mangaka the like the, like the, mm. the timetables of like how they spend their day and how like each hour is blocked out. Yeah. And they'll yeah. work for like 16 hours a day with like half an hour for lunch in the middle. And then like on weekdays, on weekends, they'll only work eight hours a day and then spend the other like, and then like spend like four with their wife or something. And then on Sunday, you know, it's right back to it. 
It's like, what, what, what's a better life? What's a, what's a better life, really, I guess is the question that sort of comes to mind when I think about this shit. Do you want to be somebody who, like, you know, has a nine to five, you know, it's, it's fine and all, but then on your weekends, ah, you can chill out, you can, you can you know, I... fuck sluts at the club, or do you want to be a content machine where you spend 16 hours a day or more busting your ass and so at the end of your life you say, look at what I have accomplished, Those look at what I have achieved. Those both sound terrible, Nate. <laughs> yeah, the, 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 the 16 hours a day is a bit is a bit much but i do like the idea of working really hard i mean um, a long like... time to make something that's so cool like mm -hmm. i want to be i want to make a homestuck or a one piece i want to make that yeah the, pro the, the problem with I'm dead. the the problem with the 9 to 5 slog but then you've got weekends free like mm -hmm. that sounds fine to me cuz like but then, like, what are you doing with your free time on the weekends? And like, you should if be if, working. Well, do you know, something. Accomplish well, yeah, that's something. what I mean. Because if yeah. you're not, if you're not a content machine, then like, well, what, what, are, what are those free time for? Because like, because if, if it's just time <laughs> to just like sit there and like zone out, and it's like, what's the point? Like, what are you feel, getting out of that? I, I feel, feel like actually, the people who zone hmm. out don't deserve that Life? time off because no, because <laughs> yeah, they yeah. they they they're not used to working so hard that they need a whole weekend of time off mm. if you know what i mean i yeah. mean my whole my whole deal is i want human advancement as quickly as possible so i look at the landscape of humanity and i see all these people taking weekends off doing nothing and i'm like get your shit together guys i want you guys to discover your purpose in life and work until you fucking die to achieve it and, you know be as happy as you want i mean get your shit together to me like to me happiness is or like the closest it's a thing waste to waste time. To, no, yeah. no, no, no. The closest thing to happiness that I've found is just is just having a goal, having mm. a, any goal, and feeling yeah. like you're working towards. It. And if you're working a nine yes. to five, and if you're working a nine to five, then like what's like what? And and then you have the weekends off. Like if you're not using those weekends to work towards some goal, and it's like, well, what are you doing? You know, like you, you need know, you need you need to feel like you're progressing towards something. I think the normie answer would be like maybe a family. Like starting a family and yeah. Uh, doing yeah. that shit, you spending know? time that's, with that's your fine. children, kissing your Waste wife. Of time. No, that's actually Fucking that's actually your legit. Dog. <laughs> Fucking your dog. That's that's a fine way to like to be a good parent. I think I'm is not, a good, I'm not, is a good I'm not gonna time. I'm not gonna shit on I'm not gonna shit on the idea of being a family yeah. man. Like if that's your goal, not. of course not. Yeah, okay, mm -hmm. but like. Mm -hmm. I'm just I'm imagining someone who's just like you know like like time off for the sake of it is not satisfying like if you're not like, if you're not using it to do like to do something that's like gonna I mean, bring you happiness even if even if it's something as simple as like uh you know you don't know what you want to do uh, but you f you kind of like the idea of playing guitar so you have a guitar and you just play mm -hmm. you know play it a little you don't know whether that's going to result in a musical career. But it's right. something to be working towards. It doesn't matter that you you don't need yeah. like a, an entire life plan planned out. Yeah. You just need you just need an ideal, like a a goal, a thing that you want to and get what, towards. And yeah. whatever people do, I think they're better off having like goals for it. You know, like I'm going to do this for a while. Like even if this is a weekend thing, yeah, yeah, like playing guitar, like you said, like to have a goal. Like you know what, I'm gonna pick up guitar. It's pretty fun. Maybe one day, you know, my goal will be like do a do an open mic night. Just you know, do that shit. I think yeah. that you're way better off having something that you're like working towards than just uh, I don't know, not not doing that. You know. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. If I ever yeah. find myself feeling bored, then I will know that I'm doing something wrong. Mm -hmm. Because, like, I will definitely, like, I will always take off work to hang out with a friend or someone because that's important to me. Like, it's way more important than work. I, like, like I almost live my life by the ethos: if I can be with another person, fuck work. It shouldn't exist. Well, <laughs> I disagree but, there, but all right. <laughs> but um. <laughs> Yeah, but you know, but the opposite of that is that if I'm not working, I'd better be doing something worthwhile or fun, or else right, right. I should put my head in the toilet, which is also fun <laughs> in a different way. Because I'm a fucking ninja turtle, and that's what I do. <laughs> I swim in the fucking toilet. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that originally, but it went somewhere totally different, somewhere superior. Let me uh, tell you guys different. the story of my old roommate Cobb. My, okay. My lifelong best friend who I lived with before I moved down to North Carolina. Mm -hmm. He worked at a kitchen uh, eight hours a day, and no joke, every single minute he was home when he wasn't at work, he would just sit on Netflix uh, while staring at his phone. And that was that's, that's that's so literally sad. his entire that's so life. Sad. He's just binging through shows, not actually watching them and looking at his phone. He would, 
He's he's watched uh, the two uh, Netflix seasons of Better Call Saul. He couldn't tell you what, what happened because he, he's girl? just staring at his phone. <laughs> That's tragic. <laughs> yeah, when I think about his life, like is ignorance actually bliss? Because he doesn't seem that sad, <laughs> but it it looks miserable to me. Yeah. Wait. It's hard to say. Oh wait, I'm 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 very confused about what he's looking at on his phone. He's just like on Twitter or fucking Facebook or reading ESPN.com it... to see what his favorite faggoty football player's been up to. That's just stupid shit. Yeah. I guess yeah. I guess it's not really a bad thing if you you're satisfied with with less stuff yeah. in your life, but I couldn't be. You know you know why I don't like that though? It's cause cause if this guy or or whoever, you know, I don't mean to shit on the guy specifically, but like no, shit on who, him. I fucking hate him. Any anybody <laughs> who does that, I think would be Nate, hello significantly happier or or at least equally happy Did if the they were like die? working to accomplish something and then like You know and, what? And then they also they're achieving something, which is good for everybody. So like I, I think let's it, just do that. I, I think mm -hmm. it's just because people like that haven't even considered or tried or been put into a situation where they're forced to 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 work mm -hmm. on something you know bigger than just getting through the day mm -hmm. and they they don't even you know they can't even conceive of a big old goal like that so they don't feel like they're missing out when they're mm -hmm. not doing anything Probably well, which true. one of you was it that said that if you don't have a creative outlet, you're not even a human being? Because I agree with that completely. I think that was me. Um, I, that's how I feel. I, I think I've definitely said that. I don't I know think, if I, I think, stand by it completely. I think, but I, I think Jesse, Jesse's definitely said if you're not a creative person, you're less than pe uh, human or yeah. something like that. That, that, sounds like, that, def that sounds like a much younger, more foolhardy and arrogant <laughs> version of me. So, so I, would, I would also define creative in this context as like if you're working to like, uh, I don't know, crack some new uh, mathematical algorithm just in your spare time like Einstein used to, that's creativity. Oh, you know, sure. that's. Yeah, if okay, you're putting your saying. brain to work in any way, I think it's creativity. Sitting fucking with yeah, Netflix in yeah. the background is wasting your life away, in my opinion. I if agree. he wants to be a yeah. zombie, I guess if it makes him happy, I don't know. If I, I mean, maybe really that's well, maybe maybe mm -hmm. that's a simpler and like less stressful existence. Well, but I, 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 I but, but I like that. to believe I I. I, I like to believe that the highest of my highs are better than a person like that's. Very true. And, yeah, and plus, I, I would say that they're kicking their, their stress down the road until they die, and they're like, I've accomplished nothing. Yeah, my yeah life that's, was that's, shit. that's what I was about to say. Like, people mm -hmm. have midlife crises when they have, yeah, like, a normal yeah. life, and they have no reason, they have no idea that you could even do more. And then they get to an age where they're like, man, I haven't really done anything. And then it all comes and hits them all at once. Whereas for us, it's hitting us constantly, but less, you know, <laughs> in intensely. So we're spreading yeah, we're out facing our, it. We're, you know, we're, we're staring, we're we're staring like into a, that abyss. A whole life crisis, basically. Yeah, I think yeah. one of the problems whole is whole once you get crisis. out of school, life is like in fast forward, and you don't even realize how much time has passed and that That's you haven't true. done anything. It's very true. I, it terrifies me deeply every without, day. Without, yeah, without that structure, without that structure that the bullshit academia system like forces you into and like tells, there might be, tells you is important. To, to some degree, that might be just as you get older, time goes faster. But nonetheless, that's yeah, that's there's still that. True. But also mm -hmm. the la the lack mm -hmm. of structure just makes it real easy for like fucking weeks yeah, and months yeah. to go by, and you're like, well, I wasn't supposed to be doing anything. Yeah, no one told yeah, me to do right. anything. Absolutely, absolutely. School very specifically gives you like little tasks and things to achieve. Like, okay, I have to finish mm -hmm, this mm -hmm. paper by tomorrow. But like, once you're out, there are no goals handed to you. You have to come up with your own goals, and most people don't seem the capable hard part. of having them. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Most people Deep. are like just uh, uh, really happy that they don't have to think of g little yeah. goals anymore. It's like when I never liked those goals because school sucks. When you're That's in, thing. when you're school, in school, if school goals were interesting, then people would probably continue to do them up outside. When you're in, because most mm -hmm. people go to school and they do the work just because like they have to do it to get the degree. So then you, they graduate and they're like, oh well, thank God, now I don't have to do any of those things anymore. But exactly. Then, but then you, you don't if you don't have anything that you are having to do. Then you fucking you're headed for a midlife it, crisis town, it, USA. It really reminds me of, at least personally, how I play video games because I love accomplishing goals in video games, and it feels great. I love like ach achieving challenges, and you know, there's there's some challenges to achieve in real life if you want to uh, if you want to take the time and do that shit. So it's like uh, people, you know, video games give people like an artificial world that allows them to like feel like they're yeah. superior and like they're they're doing something when uh, instead of doing it in real life because it's way fucking easier in a video game you know but i still I love video games that, so. but that that mm -hmm. that probably is a lot of the reason why people i know it they, is for they, me they they you know, they, they buy mm -hmm. the hot new game and they play it all the way through and they complete everything mm -hmm. and then they're just like well i did it 
Yeah. It gives them a sense of empowerment. It, 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 it gives them like, empowerment like, in their own life. The, the, yeah. yeah, it's like it's it's goals for them to achieve, and they've been starved for goals because they're not doing anything. So they just yep. play the that. entire I, thing. Real I hate quick. I hate thinking about that. I hate thinking about the fact that like to to a certain extent, video games are video games are just like a sort of like hamster wheel that you are supposed yeah. to like step up on and run. And if, and if you, and if you press, if you press the right buttons, like it'll tickle your brain in that way that you've been missing. And then you're like, Oh, I got it. Yep. Phew. Video, video games are in a sense, kind of like emotional crack. Cause you get yeah. to just like experience the most interesting part of characters lives over and over and like accomplish these gigantic goals that you will never be able to do in your pitiful little real life. Mm-hmm. And it just, it's all big. It's a big like placating mechanism to make you think that you're happy as you're like living somebody else's life when i uh, when i when i think about that i feel like oh god video games oh no get them get get them get them away but then (laughs) but then but then sometimes sometimes i'm like oh man oh yeah i was just gonna say but oh man i sure did like undertale (laughs) but uh, but undertale wasn't really like i mean i guess to a certain extent it was it had some tough bosses that needed like like, some practice and stuff but it was mostly about the story which is not really the same thing i guess well it's i don't know i would undertale like make it makes like intellectual points about like the nature of video games which is cool you know games do that a lot my favorite video game of all time is without a doubt you have to burn the rope on new grounds which is this it's this 30 second long game where you just you fucking go and you like the you walk along this corridor you grab fire you burn the rope and you slay the grinning colossus and then there's a a, there's like a 10 minute outro song about how fucking badass you are for burning that (laughs) fucking rope it's the greatest video game ever conceived and laughs at this whole idea of what video games are man yeah you know what the 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 worst and most agonizing game of all time in terms of like feeling like a a mindless hamster wheel Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! League of of Legends? (laughs) No Possibly That's the greatest that. ever. <laughs> For me, the worst in terms of that, and also possibly the best game ever made, which is the problem, <laughs> uh-huh. is The Binding of Isaac. Because, uh, yes. man. Yeah, I know the guy who made that. He's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, he is pretty good. He's a great guy. We, we, we should get him on this show. Group. Yeah. I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> you should, we should, we should, uh, if you want to, we should, you should hear our conversation with him on, uh, on the bonus, the bonus episode. episode. <laughs> Patreon.com yeah. slash the, the procrastinators or TP Crastinators. I forget our URL. <laughs> yeah. Was yeah. That a bonus episode? Yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about dogs on, with him. The last, he was on the last but, bonus man, episode. It was great. Which will that be out game. by now. Oh. I, I hate it because there's no story and there's no reward and there's there's nothing that makes it feel like a worthwhile experience whatsoever. Mm-hmm. But the gameplay itself is so goddamn perfect and flawless and I beautiful. Mean, mm-hmm. Like, there are times when I will just fall into an Isaac hole that lasts for an entire day and I'll hate myself yeah, and I'll want to yeah. die, but I just can't. It's it's the worst drug that's, of all. That's kind of like what uh, uh, the Zelda Breath of the Wild's doing to me sometimes these days. Like that's what I did when I woke up this morning. I'm like, yeah, I'll just play Zelda for a little bit. No big fucking deal. Of course, it's a gigantic world to explore and infinite goals to accomplish. So it's like, fuck my fucking day. But the thing about Isaac that's interesting to me that makes that that kept me coming back is uh, is like if there's nothing new to discover, I won't keep playing a game like that, even if I really like it, because I'll I'll get bored. Um, but. Like, the fact that there's, like, new bosses to unlock, new levels to unlock, new items to find, uh, you oh, know, like, a- extra we- challenges to give myself to overcome is what I'm all about. When, totally when you that. get that, like, when, when two or more power-ups, like, combine in a unique way that you haven't seen before, oh, yeah. it's oh, like yeah. fucking heroin right up my yep. dick. I just, <laughs> mm, I'm yep. chasing that dragon forever. Especially when you get, especially when you get the boomerang bullets and the Ipecac exploding bullets, so the grenades oh, yeah. come Those back and best. blow you up. <laughs> yeah. That's, no, that's, that's my shit. favorite. <laughs> <laughs> I, I personally have fallen way down the Magikarp jump hole. I'm, uh, oh, I'm, re- I'm no. really loving training all these Magikarps. Man. I'm just really... I, I, and Stop. I fully, I fully admit, I don't know. It's just something to do, like when I'm in the car, or just like when I'm just like sitting around While and not to, or when I'm, when I'm, yeah. yeah, yeah, when I'm driving, when I'm on the toilet. It's just, uh, it's, it's like I fully admit that the gameplay is like a just a, a just a completely shallow just excuse. It's just like a series of rigmarole. It's just, it's complete rigmarole. Like the only thing that matters is your trainer level, and everything else in the game is just a is just like a bullshit hurdle to ha- to jump over mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. to get your trainer level up but it's just so fucking cute how all your how all your previous magikarps <laughs> the ones that the ones that survive <laughs> the ones that don't get eaten by pidgeotos or, or oh, blown no. or blown to smithereens by voltorbs they'll just like live in your pond and swim around in the background and you can see them there and sometimes Aww. they and sometimes they come and give your and give your current magikarp some advice on how to become a great jumper Whoa, <laughs> that's awesome <laughs> it's really it's really cute and charming 
That's pretty cool. So I guess Yaradoses? You can you yeah yeah you can you can make your you can like fuck up really bad and make your <laughs> Magikarp evolve into a Gyarados. At which point he becomes worthless and is discarded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fuck Gyar- Just like when I normally play Pokemon. Yeah, I don't I don't abide that shit. You um, like, yeah. <laughs> well, all right, that's cool. I guess we we pretty much explored our topic, our original topic, being productive or prolific. Prolific. I gotta, and, I gotta. Uh, I, my final word on being productive is yeah. I got, I gotta get back there. I gotta. I think it's yeah, time. Right. I've been feeling real bad for a while about not getting enough done. I think it's, I think it's getting nigh on that time where I need to like, I need mm-hmm. to get back into that headset of like, wake up, start drawing, and then I'll be wake happier. Up. Then I gotta drive a fucking comic. <laughs> yeah, head, 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 table. <laughs> yeah, that, that's Ben. That's gonna be Ben every morning. Uh, all right. Anybody else? Final points? Being prolific? Uh, in the comments, say, which is better, Miyamava or Igmavo Tuadic? Hey, it's not done yet, though. It's, yeah, but well... uh, who cares? It's, I'm, I <laughs> Plus, win. yours is the I current win. one. Everyone's going to like the current <laughs> one, so the old and busted one. Hey, I'm the original, baby. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm Bulbasaur. I'm Pokemon 001. I'll always be <laughs> yeah. the champ. Yeah. Hell yeah. Bulbasaur. Hell yeah. Yeah. I, I approve of that. I like that. how Jesse, Jesse's like quiet, and then just he hears Bulbasaur. <laughs> yeah, Bulbasaur. <laughs> Nate just got my vote with that. <laughs> yeah. I think, he appealed I really, to me. I really think Min Mafnia really trumps uh, Ingovoa Tuidich and Mia Mafava. I really Min think Mafnia. they're both. Min Mafnia is <laughs> yeah. is just yeah. is just is like it's like it's like it's one of those like you know what? it's like one of those brain activity <laughs> charts where it's like you know min mafnia yeah, oh, is like yeah, the little yeah. tiny skull ingovo to it it's just like a little a little activity min mafnia is like you know just like fucking like angels yeah. shooting out of like a of <laughs> like a man, man with his brain with light shooting out of his fucking head that's right yeah yeah and right. like and like the eye the eye of Ra, just like oh my god <laughs> the sheer the sheer brilliance of maybe never making a nuzlocke ever again <laughs> it's just I, it's hard to fathom my, my christ consciousness the, is off the chart <laughs> right <laughs> <laughs> the thing that really is puts it over the edge is the maybe. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, damn, this guy's got it all figured out. Uh, <laughs> Thanks. All right, well, let's uh, let's go to our questions if we're all set with this. Or, or is there we all good? We all set, folks? I got oh, nothing I'm else to good, say. Oh, I'm good, baby. Okay. Um, yeah. Let me see. I'm just scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. I fuck. I had a good one. Where the fuck did it go? Uh, nope, nope. Uh, fuck. <laughs> I gotta find something fast. Uh, okay, here we go. At Moe Entrepreneur asks, "What crimes have you committed? What crimes have you I, committed? I, what are you willing to confess?" I dared to um, to make a point that Sharia law probably doesn't treat women very well. Oh, that's true. That's Disgusting. a YouTube crime. That's a YouTube crime. How dare I? That's it. Uh, no, I think we're all two good boys. We're we're the goodest boys on the on the whole planet. Um, I've I've Cri- crimes are... just just stop being crimes when we do them. <laughs> yeah, I've that's true. I've stolen shit before. I'm not even mm-hmm. I'm not embarrassed about that anymore. I've shoplifted stuff. I've As I've, I've, been, re- small, I've been real poor. Um, I've been I wasn't poor. I would just eat a donut while walking around and was like, eh, whatever. This is my yeah. donut now. It's in my body. Yeah, <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> it's part of me. Did you ever me. steal anything from Digi when you lived with him? <laughs> um, Food probably. No, only I would. Uh, His well, dignity. At, well, after, <laughs> didn't have well after, after after Victor after Victor moved oh, out no. after Victor moved out I ate a bunch of the food that he left behind. But like he left that's it behind, so, so I'm thinking so I'm thinking that's not stealing anymore. Yeah, I, I had a the gray agree. area. I still you know, I, I, I committed I once. <laughs> well, we've all done mm-hmm. that. Yeah. Um, I committed the greatest crime. Ever once, and I'm ashamed of it to this day. Uh, I'll never atone for it. Shit. When I was a little kid, uh, when my grandma used to watch the news, I would just come in the room and sit down and turn on the Sega and not even ask her. What oh the my fuck? God, you monster! And I, 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 I didn't even care. I had no remorse for my for my poor saintly grandmother, and now she's dead, and I can never apologize for this crime that I committed yeah. over and over again as a child. I ought to be stoned, as is code of Sharia law. She, she probably thought you were cute. Which is my religion now, so I can stay on YouTube forever. Oh, that's right. That's right. <laughs> she probably was so senile that she thought Sonic the Hedgehog was the news. <laughs> she did have Alzheimer's. It was very sad. <laughs> um, uh, uh, here's another question. Uh, uh, at Exilovich asks, uh, who would win hey, in a I fight? I know him. Yeah, I know that guy. He's a dead mining. Uh, who would win in a <laughs> fight? Ronda Rousey or Gal Gadot? <laughs> um, you know, 
I mean, Gal Gadot has killed. They're both a male, women, so they would both lose. Yeah. <laughs> the I, mean, I don't know if Ronda Rousey. Yeah, that's true. I don't know if Rousey has two kills under her belt. <laughs> that's true. That's true. By the way, guys, I just happened to read the other day. Uh, this is a little bit of a tangent, but uh, I, I like apparently it's common. The, the, like the world champion Australia. Gal Gadot killed no, two. It, it should, they were yeah. world champ, but like the, the Australian like national team like their best national team their, their female national team lost 7-0 to a 15 year old high school boy soccer team like <laughs> what what is that what the fuck is happening here these are like the best in the country uh, I, I don't know i just was astounded okay, wait a minute. best in the country oh <laughs> you got it you got it man i really like i want that clarified is it true like, I know Munchie drilled it all into our heads, and now he accepts yeah, it as Gal Gadot fact. Yeah, did it. <laughs> but, like, I tried looking it up, and I couldn't find this information in, like, the, it, for, for real. So I don't know if there, it was just, like, scrubbed, and only Munchie knows the truth. Yeah, if I he's, like, I, I, he Munchie's the, Munchie Munchie is the only Gal Munchie's the only source for fake news that I trust. <laughs> like, I... Like, <laughs> Did you guys see that poster somebody made of the Wonder Woman with, like, the oh, Palestinian kid under amazing. his sword? <laughs> amazing. Way to go, dude. I wish I remembered your name, but that was sick. We I retweeted, retweeted it. it, but it's, like, three weeks ago, so good luck. Yeah, yeah. Um, okay, a new question. Here we go. Uh, at ZTM0321 asks, thoughts on YouTube being pro-Sharia law? Yeah. I'm, good, you know, good question. I'm, I approve. I approve. Uh, let's uh, all right, let's talk about this for a second. So Sharia law, guys, uh, it's not so good. It's not so good. Got some issues with it. Got some got some complaints. No, I've seen Don't, the well, really actually like it. Na- the ultimate way to live. Oh, is and, that na- true? and now that you've okay. said that, now that you've said that, Nate, the PCP yeah. is done for. They're out yeah. for us. They're gonna we're gonna get flagged. We're gonna get banned. It. Yeah, we're done. We're done. We're gonna get fucked and sucked. <laughs> It's uh I'm it's I'm really curious ridiculous. as to whether they actually know it's about Sharia law and that's why it got taken down. Let's can we just talk about this for a second? I mean Or people... whether it was just like, oh, Sharia law is a controversial thing, you can't have that in a title uh, destroyed. I mean like, was it as simple as that or But the, the, the thing stri- is I I did a lot of research before I put up the video and there are like outright hate mongers on the front page of when you search yeah. fuck Islam. It's mm-hmm. just saying the worst things you can imagine. Millions yeah. of views on the front page of search. I make a, a comedy video that doesn't specifically target any group at all for hate. It just, like, lists stats and shit and makes mm-hmm. jokes about them. Instantly deleted within a day. Maybe it's just because, like, it, somebody it, manually I, flagged it or something. Well, yeah, but, know. like... Yeah, that is has that, to is be that, it. Is that, like, people in your audience? Like, who who subscribes to Monkey Jones and then gets so upset about something like that? What if well, literally I mean, he's ISIS been getting pretty, that manual He's been reply. doing well on Reddit. Oh, no, wait, so no, I, I know why. The Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Yeah, that's, probably, that's right. That's probably it. I mean, I'm 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 God, almost fuck. positive that it's just like one Muslim guy on Reddit must have seen it and flagged it. Yeah, I bet it was God. literally ISIS. I bet literally ISIS logged <laughs> it. It was ISIS account. again. That guy that I hate the most. ISIS. <laughs> yeah, the worst guy. Uh, yeah, Maybe the worst PCP Muslims. character of all. Maybe Muslims really like Diary of a Wimpy Kid, and you really pissed them off with that first one. <laughs> and Guys, you... the Sharia law you broke the camel's back. <laughs> that's you know? probably true. Yeah. Let's just let's just examine this just for one second more. Okay, so so YouTube's thing is that they're SJW cucks, right? Like that's clearly that's clearly where they're moving. So like so that being the case, they support or are like totally in defense of this belief system that says that women should like not drive cars or should be clothed when they're outside well, at all times. Here, here's and the here's the thing. What is up with um, that? This is the Brown, most pro Brown feminist before... video I've ever made, and it's the one that got me banned. Like you're literally mm-hmm. arguing to for women to not have to be forced to wear clothes like that cover their entire body. And That's not your be, argument. Like, beaten and raped by their husbands and all that it's, stuff. Yeah. It's, it's it's all literally backwards. because like brown comes before women. Yeah, like, it's like a progressive the progressive color. That's yep. how Obama beat Hillary in two thousand eight. Yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. a joke. I don't accept that. Hillary won that election, too. She's perfect. Um, <laughs> How long has she been the president? 16. <laughs> we're, we're, she's going to have 16 years under her belt. Yeah. How'd they the even this. let her run for a third term? That's crazy. Yeah, I, I don't know. That's one of the many <laughs> mysteries I'm trying she to She is, uncover. in fact, the founding mother of America. There were no others. She yeah. wrote the Declaration of Independence. She is the Alpha and the Omega. Yeah, yeah she's everything. You know, as much as I hate to to get off my centrist high horse for mm-hmm. a minute, mm-hmm. that is definitely some SJW cucky shit on YouTube's yeah. part. Yep. It's unacceptable. For, really... for once, for once, yeah. Monkey didn't deserve it. 
<laughs> yeah, I, I've been it's saying um, it couldn't have happened to a more deserving person. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> indeed, indeed. Well, uh, uh, hashtag justice for monkey. I don't know, man. Hopefully that shit works out. We'll I've see. been sending in appeals every single day begging the stupid fucking interns who look at this shit to actually yeah. watch the video and tell me where the hate speech is because they couldn't do it. It's impossible. God, I, your fucking intro bit, uh, Monkey Jones, that's me. <laughs> that's like my favorite fu- – I don't know. That line is fucking hilarious. <laughs> yeah. you know, that was funny. I really like that. Yeah, it was I, great. I, I just – I really get a kick out of the, the bad monkey dancing in public scenes. Those yeah. are my favorite parts of all of your videos. Coming up, I'll survive. I don't even know how that song goes, but uh, it was great. Okay, here's here's another question getting off that, I guess. Uh, at IceKiller159, uh, my old friend, the uh, Excalib- Excavalier. Yeah, Excavalier. That guy's cool. Uh, would you say that DLC has overall been a good thing to happen to gaming? No. Uh, no. No, not no. at all. Nope. No. The fact well, that... Well, I the mean, fact, yeah, D- go on, go on. DLC as, like, the idea of downloading extra things mm-hmm. is no, but uh, the idea of purchasing it, yes. Remember... Like, you, you can uh-huh, have, like, uh-huh. like a, like, uh, oh, well, see, we, just... we, patched, we patched something and made it I mean, work now. <clears throat> I mean, I it's disagree cool, with that, it's yeah, cool that we're no longer stuck in the days where, like, you have to buy, like, Sonic... The, 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 like, extra yeah, fucking yeah. cartridge to, like, plug your Sonic 3 into so you can play as Knuckles or whatever. <laughs> it's like, it's cool, cool that we've been unshackled from that. Mm-hmm. But also, it sucks, and it's not, it's mm-hmm. abused, and... I mean, I guess I guess I like the, the idea of DLC in principle, but I know that, like, companies do it in a shitty way that, like, just fucks their consumers. Things like Artorias of the Abyss are, like, good examples of DLC that do everything right, or, like, the Bloodborne DLC and shit. But, like, like the, the idea of, like, electronic media and, you know, that you can just download everything and then endlessly sh- uh, put out patches. Everyone should check out a little video by, by an old man called Endless Jess. Uh, who, who, I forget mm. the name of, it was the one it's about Sim the Sims. City, right? The, that's no, right, Sim it's City. the Sim City one. Oh, yeah. yeah. That video. That's my second favorite guy, next to Furnace Room. <laughs> yeah, he's pretty good, <laughs> they're both good. That video just really lays bare, like, the, the agony that we all have to go through of how, like, video games will, like, be updating for a thousand years, and, like, it was so great to just buy a fucking game, you put it in your thing, and then you're playing it now. And, though, the, like, I'm, I'm expanding from DLC just to, like, electronic gaming, like, downloadable content and all that shit. Like, it's made developers super fucking lazy. And, like, now they just don't give a fuck about, like, delivering, like, a complete package day one. Now they're like, oh, we'll just patch it, man. Who gives a fuck? Like, right mm. now, they are continually, like, tweaking Final Fantasy XV to make it, like, the real game. And, oh, what we rejoice in, like, ten years when we've got, like, oh, we did it. We've got the real Final Fantasy XV. Meanwhile, I buy that shit day one. And I'm punished for it because I care too much about, you know, playing the game when it comes out. The people who invest the most are the people who are punished the harshest, who get the worst experience. I don't like that structure. People should be rewarded for supporting your fucking product instead of punished yeah, for it. I, I hate that shit. I mean, I, I, I thinking about, like, the Dark Souls DLC, I bought uh, the Dark Souls 1, the Prepare to Die edition, which had the DLC in it. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I like the DLC, but if I didn't like it, and I bought it separately, I would feel constantly bad that I had purchased that extra add-on when I didn't need to. And with yeah, every yeah. other Dark Souls game, it's like, now that I purchased this DLC, I better enjoy it. Whereas, <laughs> if it was just part of the game, like, I could just think of it as part of the game, like, oh, I don't really yeah. like that level, I won't play that one. Mm-hmm. And it's, uh, I don't and like I... that it... It makes me think that at all. I don't, I don't like thinking about it. I don't want to be naive either, because, like, I know game development costs are just shooting through the roof, and, like, DLC is one way of, like, them, them like, you know, compensating for that. But, like, all the problems I've said still stand, and, like, DLC should never, like... I, that's, I don't know. Well, that's, you shouldn't well, that's, rely on it. That's the problem because because development costs are skyrocketing, but it's not like games are getting better. Right. You know, like, like it's not very like there's true. any real return on that investment. It's so like that's like that's that's the problem that should I be have, fixed. I have a um, not a not rant DLC that, used mm, as like a weird fucking patch to to, to cover DLC it up. DLC should yeah. only stand for dick licking contests with two <laughs> fine juggalette bitches. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Agreed. Agreed. You I know, actually have like a video about this that will not be out as we're recording, but will be out by the time people are watching this. Oh hell yeah! And it's a rant about uh, realism. 
and video games. I, I think a lot of it comes from like the normie influx is gaming has hit the mainstream and people want like people don't actually get what's good about video games. They just want the shitty cinematic experience. Like they want to play. They're for only an hour. picking up. They're only picking up on the tangible details. Yeah. Exactly oh my god! Right. I just remembered. I just remembered that last night. Last hmm. night I had a bunch of shitty dreams, and one of them was a terrible nightmare about me playing. I don't know. I, I think it was Uncharted. I've never played Uncharted, but mm-hmm. I was playing mm-hmm. what my mind imagines Uncharted to be. And I was just like, oh my God, the game plays itself. I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> it, was, it was really upsetting. You know who else had shitty dreams? Who's yeah. that? Martin Luther King you? Jr. Oh. oh. <laughs> no, no, this is going to get banned from oh, YouTube. No. What have you done? Oh, no. Yeah, but he had one good dream that was good, you know? Just the one dream was pretty nice. That was a um, nightmare. That was, yeah. Uh, there was... I, I was just going to say... His, his dream was Hillary's nightmare. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> there's this one There's this one chart that gets passed around on V a lot that's, that's very misogynistic and is very problematic. Uh-oh. And it's, uh, it's like a picture of, like, Mario with just, like, a list of, like, years and then, like, what women thought of video games at this time in history. And it starts at, like, 1995, and it's, like, they're for nerds, and you're gay if you play them. And it, that just, like, go that's, that repeated, like, ten times until you hit, like, 2000, and it's, like, oh, what are those guys doing over there? And then, like, 2001, oh, maybe I can get in on this. And it just shows them, like, slowly, like, creeping in and, uh, like, like changing. And then the, the last ones are, like, we games are for us, and if you can't accept that, you need to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. And, um... You know, I don't actually feel that that's, like, a super accurate for all women or anything. Uh, but it reflects, well, like, the normie dude. influx of, yeah. of video games. You Guys, know? I had a yeah. dream mm-hmm. that I was at a place with my dad. Mm-hmm. And there was another dad with his littler kid than me. He was okay. a littler kid. And, the, and that dad sent the littler kid to annoy my dad. And my dad turned around and he beat the shit out of the <laughs> other dad. <laughs> Is that... for, for doing that. He didn't beat the shit out of the kid. Good, the kid good. did nothing wrong. Yeah. And I felt so proud. <laughs> and I then I woke up and I was like, yeah, yeah. And that young start. child's name was Trayvon Martin. He didn't do nothing. <laughs> he didn't do nothing, everybody. Um, <laughs> all right. Uh, it's fucking stupid. I know. It doesn't, it's not an actual joke. <laughs> Uh, what the fuck are we... Okay, another question. Let's get another question here. Um, here, here's a simple question. At Simid, uh, simply says, bug fuck? Question mark? (laughs) (laughs) Uh, uh, Um, whoa. All right. I know. (laughs) I, depends. Definitely. Well, that's, that's, we, we need to, you know... The bug wars are going on, but like we need, we yeah, need to look right. forward to a better future where we can we yeah. meet, we and the bugs can love one another instead yeah, of you fight. Know, uh-huh. So there's yes, a, there, so yes, enthusiastic a, yes to bug fuck. <laughs> there's a, a very meme Twitter that has been blowing up recently called mm-hmm. Spike the Beetle, and it's this mm-hmm. um you know, oh, yeah, rhinoceros yeah. beetle with the big the pinchers, mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. they they put like a, a pen in his hand and they let him paint oh, and like I saw, draw stuff. I saw that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. you know, I look at that beetle and I think. This guy fucks. This bug fucks. <laughs> <laughs> he's he's, he's every day, that dude. Puss. Uh, and I, I just want to give an All unequivocal. The girls I want to give an unequivocal yes to this question because of Hornet from Hollow Knight, who is the sexiest bug I've ever seen, and I love her, and she's great, and she's super cute. I love her dress. Oh, yes. I if, love her if, if, if sewing needle. If a bug is a woman, a she's a then... fucking fish, bitch. Fuck oh. that slut. Yeah. If 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 a bug is a woman, then of course. <laughs> I will beat them. I just don't want to be gay with a man bug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that would be unacceptable. But uh, like a, like an armored penis or whatever they would have. Um, armored penis. That sounds that sounds like a Mega Man X boss. <laughs> <laughs> let's okay. Let's let's end this thing. Uh, here's here's oh, one more God. question. Yeah, uh, at. 58 Keegan asks, do you think YouTube has been oversaturated with reviews slash analyses? Of yes. Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, my God, yes. Hmm. Delete well, all the channels. Destroy them. Including mine, please. especially mine. <laughs> the problem is there's too many that are not good, and they make... I mean, I would imagine they would make people think that what I make is. I think there's too many good. Peri- I think there's too many, period. Even the good ones. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, I agree. I agree. They need to all go away, so you it's know just what? me. E- everyone, everyone, look up a video on YouTube uh, called uh, "Bill Hicks Hitler Had the Right Idea," <laughs> where he just he absolutely uh. loses it on a heckler and starts <laughs> screaming about, "Please God, wipe these scum from the earth!" And like, <laughs> it's it's 
Like, it's not even funny. Like, he's clearly <laughs> actually mad. The audience feels really awkward about it because he's Sick. really screaming at this guy, like, please, God, kill everyone. Hitler mm. had the right idea. He was just an underachiever. That's how I feel about reviews and analysis videos on YouTube. I feel like Bill Hicks screaming, kill them all. Agreed. It's it's really just that uh, there's, you know, there are good things to review, but I'd rather people make more good things to review than to review the good things. Yeah. I mean, I, I only nobody care Nobody does that because reviewing mm-hmm. good things is easy and everyone does it and I do it and I feel stupid. I'm basically totally uninterested in people talking about specific pe- pieces of media outside of the fact that, uh, of them, like, making a larger point about, like... I don't know, something that is actionable or, you know, like, uh, is good or smart in some way. I don't know. I don't know. You know what? Unless it's they're entertaining. Even... If they're entertaining or they're a cool person, yeah, then it will be it's, good. It's it's about, it's like, ideally it's about the person doing, like, making yeah, the review and, right. like, you, you like you watching it for their for their personality or whatever. And just, like, like mm-hmm. li- and, and li- the game itself or the movie itself is just, like, a sort of, like, prompt to get them on a, on a, a thing. Exactly. Yeah, it's like exactly. this movie or this game is, like, smart and good. And they're just, like, using that to, to attach themselves to it and make them seem good. Yeah, yeah. Which is you know what? Shitty. You know what? It's not even reviews and analysis. It's the problem. It's 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 just please, for the love of God, be funny. Everyone yeah. who isn't funny, yeah. just die. <laughs> I couldn't agree more. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, with that, I, I suppose we're done, everybody. Uh, thanks for listening. Uh, uh, we will see you next. Hey, remember to send more questions. Uh, go to the you know at TP uh, Use hashtag AskPCP. Those are the only questions we answer. So if you're not using that, we're not answering your fucking question. So uh, thanks for listening, everybody. And we will pledge see you- to the uh, pledge to the Patreon and hear the oh, bonus, yeah, yeah. Epi- bonus episode with Florian uh, uh, talking about our favorite dogs. That's right, which isn't out now, but should be up uh, soon. Ben, getting on that, buddy. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's, it's, it's that uploaded. Shit. It's uploaded. Oh, so- the, so the it's one upload, that I but not okay whatever <laughs> yeah. the one that I ruined with Road Rovers right at the end we were doing so good <laughs> no that was great uh, it's perfect everybody it's a ten out of ten thing go listen to it uh, pledge five dollars to us uh, uh, patreon.com slash uh, the procrastinators give us your money watch hashtag, the episodes hashtag the justice for monkey hashtag justice for monkey do what you can people do, click that link it's gonna be in the description yeah, yeah, uh, link in do the whatever description. you can be polite be productive be a cool guy thanks for listening everybody and we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. I'm supposed to be working right now. I'm supposed to be working right now. But I'm not working. I'm doing nothing. My dick, I'm jerking. Myself, I'm sorry.